And it's like, you were Ike. I'm Ike, you're Ike. I just do this. We just take our Ikes and just smash them against each other. One, It'll be yep. sick. Yo! We got Blue Ike versus uh, not Blue Ike. And they're both like, yo, Nair still kind of works. Not like, oh! Yo, Vess with the early counter. He's, like, he's got the gotcha. Let's have this match attempts to go. Is um, one of the players gets stage advantage, and then it becomes this whole thing where they're just kind of trying to swing at each other for safety. But since both of the characters have pretty safe options for hitting, and wow, okay, you know what? I respect good counters from this. They've been something super in handy, and it's something that Mega has not been doing, which is kind of important for him to start doing. Alright, good, uh, good side B to get back, and then an up B to kind of catch Mega sleeping. You can see, like, the super armor from the up B is strong enough to beat a move. <laughs> okay. Word? Yeah, Mega has a lot of ground to cover. Vess has been playing the match, and he did a pretty smart overall so far. Ah, um, Omega with like a really good fake out. The the tomahawk into the uh, the, the up air. Really refreshed, huh? All right, let's go. Let's go, Mega. Getting those good uppy reads. Yeah, not like barely, just like kind of threading the needle to avoid getting hit. You know, that, uh, that LB got buffed so much. It's a very tempting option to use at, uh, in the ledge, like, even more so than it was before. And that's probably gonna kill unless he doesn't land with Mega. And a really good LB! Gosh, why is that move so strong now? Alright, good, uh, really nice roll read. I, I, I cannot, I still cannot believe that they brought that up for you to actually go kill from the stage. Oh my god, what is this? I, I respect uh, Mega's patience. That was pretty good. Well, you know, you gotta actually land the hit first, though. <laughs> oh my god, these fronts. I feel like somebody just turned on an Ike soundboard and just started like pressing all the grunt buttons. Okay, let's get an up smash. Alright, you know, Mega has the kill. Jesus Christ, I would say he's looking for that kill. He's trying to get the uh he's trying to get some kind of poke out there. And yeah, the uh, the very last frame of the upper managing to clip um Vess on the foot and finish off the match. Very nice for Mega.
All right, and thanks to uh, to Black Sheep and Sketch for resubbing for another month. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, we're just kind of waiting to see. All right, so we have, our bands are Smashville and Town for Mega. Mega is technically the uh, the second is yeah, Mega is the first seed of this tournament. He took Xeno Wi-Fi last week. It's a really commanding performance, honestly. Like this man was schmoovin, which is very rare because uh, the schmovement was schmice. Or schnice, sorry. I misspoke. It was schnice, not schmice. So we rack on PS2, and we see like a very similar start to the last game. But Megan managed to get on some good percent. One of the biggest aspects of the previous match was that Mega was kind of caught off guard by VS getting some crazy, getting some crazy counters at the legend. My God, I love Vess's counters off stage. It's just like I know exactly where you're going to be. I know what you're gonna do, dude, and I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm gonna, oh, the balls on this man. The absolute chutzpah. You know what? Chutzpah only gets you so far. When you find someone like Mega, this man's gonna like take you down. He's gonna make sure you run out of resources. And he's gonna upper you. Very nice done. And again, we have like the situation in neutral, where they're just kind of swinging, but Vess is playing a lot more reservedly, which is very dangerous to do because uh, when you have no shield, you don't really have any good defensive options against Ike. Spot dodging can be extremely risky against this character. We see Mega's trying to use the platform to advantage, but Vess is not really giving it to him. Very good follow there, but not quite enough, but the second up air is gonna do it! That's getting a F smash from the other side of the stage? Okay, okay, sick. Alright, yeah. Good patience, good walk. Oh my god, how did that miss?! You know what, alright. And up smash, but you know what? The platform's there. That was a good directional air dodge. That's exactly what he wanted. And the best is a kill percent. He took the second stock, but he is a kill percent. He's got to be super careful. Ike still has a lot of really good ways to kill, it, even in the ditto. So Vess has to get that damage on, or else this is going to be him getting knocked into losers. All right, good safe damage from Vess. Very nicely done. Trying to get some pokes in. You see, like, Mega wants the kill. He's trying to push his way in, even when it's kind of advised really nice to do so. Good parry. When you have this much time on the clock, you don't necessarily need to rush in. You can wait, for your, you can wait to take advantage uh, for when you actually have a safe approach. And a good... Ooh, narrative back air coming from Mega, finishing off the last stock. He was able to push through, and despite taking a lot of random straight hits, Mega was able to kind of clutch it out at the end with the narrative back air. Very nicely done on his part. And he advances 2 0 to winner semis, where he's going to fight Dan the Man. They both left without me having a kid. Amazing. <laughs> Alright guys, we hope you're watching or enjoying uh, watching this in Wi-Fi 16. We do this every Wednesday. Uh, we also do fight clubs every Sunday. So if you guys like fighting, you guys like clubs, there's a club for that. 
called Fight Club. Not the club club, the Fight Club. Happens every Sunday. It's a King of the Hill event that we do. Uh, viewer battles primarily. 